Kamaka is a well-rounded individual. You know, he's got a big heart. He's very humble. He's the one who told mom and dad that I should think about going to play basketball somewhere else. When he left, it was, it was a tough move. It was very tough for, for us to leave Barrow. I think that he felt maybe he was gonna let people down if he did move. But he knew in his heart that if he wanted to get the offers from D1 schools, that the move was going to be very important. Everything starts with a question. Is this what you want to do? Not a lot of coaches are making that trip up to Barrow, Alaska to recruit one kid. Understanding that to get better, you have to explore new territory, explore new environments. Moving here to Portland, it was a really big culture shock. Just the difficulty of having to up and leave your home of 16 years, living in a big city and being thrown into a whole new environment. Growing up in Barrow, Alaska was a really different experience, but I was blessed to grow up there just because of how, like, how tight-knit the community really is and how, how much people really care about you. Barrow is a small town in rural Alaska. The only way to get there is to fly. There is no shopping centers, there is no movie theaters, and there is no bowling alleys. From the middle of November through the middle of January, the sun never comes above the horizon. And then in the summer, the sun never sets. We come from a culture called the Inupiat. So the Inupiat people are, um, continue to be um, very dependent on the resources. You know, we harvest bowhead whales, caribou, migratory birds, we fish. Who I am is heavily influenced by the community that I was raised in. It has nothing to do with basketball, but just about being a good person and about showing respect to the people around you because without them and without their continued support, none of this would be possible. Watching him play against kids from the lower 48 and other schools outside of Alaska, and seeing the level of skill that he had. That's when I knew. I'm six foot nine, kind of lanky. And the main reason I've been recruited is my ability to shoot the ball and kind of stretch out the offense. And obviously, the potential that Kamaka has, the NBA is, is his next goal. Being the first Inupiat Eskimo to play in the NBA would definitely mean a lot to me. That's definitely another thing that motivates me to work really hard. If you want to be better than the next kid, you got to be doing more than, than he does, right? Everybody practices an hour and a half, two hours a day. So what are you going to do to get better than them? It's not something that I was gifted with. I wasn't always good at basketball. One thing that really drives me to be better is understanding how important it is to, to get comfortable being uncomfortable. What's really important about basketball isn't how long you will continue to play basketball, but the opportunities outside of them, the relationships that you build in the process of getting better and playing basketball. I mean, I feel like there's no secret to, to, uh, to reaching your goals. Obviously, you have to put in the work. I want to be that role model that kids look up to and see that it is possible to reach your goals.